Hello everyone, we are from group 42. My name is Hiskia Jeffon Chandra, a first year pure physics student from the School of Physics. Today, I will be your presenter. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nur Akilah binti Hamirdin. I am a first year student majoring in pure physics. I am from School of Physics and today I'm going to be the editor. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Nor Amalia Humaira Binti Hisham. I'm first year student of Pure Physics program from School of Physics and I'm a script writer. Do you guys have any idea of what this is? Is this just a machine? Of course not. It is an electromagnetic therapy. So have you heard of it before? If not, that's okay. Let's get started. Electromagnetic therapy uses different kinds of magnets to help boost our overall health. It also produces low induction impulses which helps to stimulate and also rejuvenate cells in our body. This leads to better overall health and well-being of individuals. Are you interested on how electromagnetic therapy works? Oh, I heard a yes from you. Let's go! First of all, electromagnetic therapy stimulates the production of nitrogen monoxide in our body, which helps to improve blood supply and also blood circulation. So, cells become more oxygenated. They detoxify, they rejuvenate, they regenerate, and also they reproduce. The immune system is strengthened because of this, and the body is more resistant towards infection. Because of this, electromagnetic therapy is used for a variety of health conditions, such as wounds, injuries, and also even chronic diseases. Hmm, I wonder, what is electromagnetic therapy used for? Do you know? Electromagnetic therapy is used to treat arthritis, fibromyalgia pain, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, osteoporosis, leg ulceration, pain and migraine, stress and depression, sports injuries, lethargy, and athletic performance. So who are not allowed to undergo electromagnetic therapy? First, it's the people who wear pacemakers. So why is this so? Electromagnetic therapy induces or emits electromagnetic fields which may interfere with the proper function of how the pacemaker works. Second, pregnant people are not allowed to undergo electromagnetic therapy. This is because electromagnetic fields induced by the therapy can disturb the development of the fetus. So they may change the DNA structures of the fetus that can cause permanent disabilities to the babies. Do you know the benefits of electromagnetic therapy? No? Mm, it's fine, I will tell you. So first, electromagnetic therapy helps in reducing pain and cramps. Second, it helps to improve the body's blood oxygen supply and also circulation throughout our body. Third, it helps to improve our body's immune system and also resistance towards infections. Lastly, it al it's also beneficial for treating diabetic neuropathy. Neuropathic pain, specifically peripheral neuropathy, arises from the ectopic firing of unmyelinated C fibers with accumulation of sodium and calcium channels. So because electromagnetic therapy safely induces low frequency currents, it is hypothesized that electromagnetic therapy can depolarize, repolarize, and also hyperpolarize neurons, 
which by directing energy into the sole of one foot could potentially modulate neuropathic pain. So what are the side effects of electromagnetic therapy and is it safe? So of course electromagnetic is safe. There is no serious side effects and even though if there are side effects it's very rare. So the temporary side effects that may occur are tingling, numbness, warm sensations, sleep disorders, irritability and also maybe concentration disorders and maybe temporary intensification of pain. The reaction of the electromagnetic therapy depends on several factors such as fitness, age and also lifestyle. For sport injuries, the reaction of this treatment is usually very quick. It's usually just for several days. For high cholesterol and high blood pressure levels, it usually takes for around 3 to 4 months for cholesterol and 1 to 2 months for high blood pressure to become better. Lastly, for osteoporosis, it's usually noticed from the range of 6 to 12 months that their bone density increases with a such significant amount. In conclusion, electromagnetic therapy is useful to relieve pain, improve the functions of the body, boost the immune system of people, and treating some diseases that are quite hard to treat. Electromagnetic therapy may be, may be the future of medication. Besides that, electromagnetic therapy is also well tolerated with no reported negative studies and side effects that come from this therapy. Therefore, it is very recommended for people, especially people who needs extra treatment to choose electromagnetic therapy. And that's all from us. Thank you.